mourners continue to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II this morning. In just a few hours or so, her coffin will leave Scotland for London. Eyewitness News anchor Jim Donovan is live outside of Windsor Castle with more on the events that are planned for today. Jim, good morning. Good morning, Natasha and Janelle. And indeed, I'm uh, right in front of uh, Windsor Castle, which will be the final resting place of uh, Queen Elizabeth in St. George's Chapel here. But let me get you up to date on what's happening right now. So uh, just a short time ago, King Charles III left Scotland, left Edinburgh, Scotland, en route to Belfast, Northern Ireland, where he'll be meeting with officials there and attending events surrounding his mother's death. Meanwhile, in Edinburgh overnight, long lines of uh, mourners passed by the Queen's coffin, the flag draped coffin inside of St. Giles Cathedral there. Uh, some people waited for six to eight hours outside uh, overnight in order to pay their respects to Her Majesty. Uh, later on today, about five o'clock or so Scotland time, the coffin will be transported to London on a Royal Air Force jet. Uh, Princess Anne will accompany her mother's coffin. Meanwhile, back in London, you see this video here. Troops, marching bands, and horses took part in a dress rehearsal for the Queen's cortege procession earlier this morning. Rising before dawn, members of three uh, UK armed forces took part in a drill uh, for Wednesday afternoon's procession. That will be the procession that takes the Queen's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall, will be placed uh, ahead of that period of lying in state. For those taking part in the rehearsal, they said it was a sense of duty to both the Queen and the new King. So I think for everybody on parade today, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's a very sad day, but it is our opportunity, our last opportunity to do a duty for the Queen. It's our first opportunity to do a duty for the King, and that makes us all feel very proud. We have the strongest bond with her. I know every single person on parade feels the same. Everybody wants to be involved and everybody wants to deliver their absolute best. I was watching video of the rehearsals this morning on BBC, and I will tell you, it was very emotional, you know, hearing the bagpipes and the drums and, and what have you. Uh, officials here in uh, England and those uh, that are uh, organizing everything for London are saying that they expect lines to exceed anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. So they're telling people that are going to be coming out to pay their respects to Her Majesty to be prepared uh, to make sure they've got water, that their phones are charged and things like that. And I will tell you, rain is expected. It's raining right now here. Rain is expected both for the remainder of the day and heavy rain scheduled for tomorrow, at least forecast at this point. So uh, it will be interesting to see if the large crowds turn out as expected. Uh, for now, reporting uh, live from Windsor, England, back to uh, Janelle and Natasha in the studio. Incredible, Jim. So many people just wanting to be part mm -hmm. of this occasion, want to be here there exactly. for history, Jim, and to take part. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you later on, Jim. Well, of course, stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage as the world does remember Queen Elizabeth. Jim is in England all week with the latest on the tribute to the Queen. And if you missed any of our stories, you can find them all on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com slash queen.